Well, good morning. Today is Monday, January the 10th, 2022. I'm out here at Central Arkansas, my parents' property, uh, going after these deer once again with a bow. Still got that big seven pointer that my daughter named Rudolph. He's still been showing up. He's our main target out here. And unless something surprisingly shows up, he's probably my only real target that I'm after. There's a few does out here showing up. I could shoot, but this late in the year with as few does as we've had on camera out here, I really don't want to take one. Um, although I might have to edit that out if one gives me an opportunity and I end up taking it today. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go get in the ground blind <clears throat> out here. Got a, a pretty easy walk to get in there. Um, the only obstacle we really got to overcome is uh, the cell camera that's out there shows that there's a little buck out there. Um, he's been out there for the last little while. I haven't got pictures of him in the past eight minutes, so maybe he's worked off and we can go sneak down and get in the ground blind before something else shows up. So we'll get our gear together and go do that and just try to be quiet about it. It's about, I don't know, 24 degrees this morning, so pretty chilly for here in Arkansas, but um, I bet a little after daylight when things start warming up, those deer start moving around a little, and whenever they do, We'll be out there and be in position. So with any luck, that Rudolph deer shows up or something else starts moving around that we weren't expecting to see out there and we get a shot at that. Either way, no matter what happens, we'll be sure to bring it to you from the ground blind. And so we'll catch up with you whenever we get there when the sun comes up.
main target, Rudolph, didn't show. <clears throat> but that was still a fun hunt with all those deer up here close for so long. It was chilly. Didn't get the heater going until after the deer left, but it was a fun hunt. It's about 10 a.m. now, so I'm gonna get out and uh, gotta go check some stuff, do a little bit of work, and get a game plan. I'll probably be back tomorrow evening, and so uh, if anything exciting happens then, I'll be sure to bring it to you. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel, and uh, we'll be back again before too long with another Arkansas adventure. First hunt at a new property. I'm excited about it. I got a friend that tagged along though. Let's see if he uh, messes anything up or if he just goes back home. See what we can do. Well, it's Tuesday, January 11th, and I'm here set up at my first hunt on this new property. I'm hunting right behind a, uh, a friend of mine's house. He said that there's a lot of deer out here. And he used to hunt a lot, but he's got to where he can't get around very good. So he told me I could have at it. So I'm just out here in the woods right behind his house. Came up here last week and put this stand up. There's been deer out here just about every day. No bucks. I'm only a week into learning this property and so I just set up here because it's a place I can get into easily and quickly. And so I had, a, had his dog come out here and follow me and spend some time here. But I've got a deer camera just to get inventory and uh, that showed me that the dogs are out here quite a bit and then deer come in right after him. So I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to get settled in here. Got a little under two hours until dark. But we're all set up. It was in the mid-50s today, but temperature's dropping. So it should be good. Hopefully a group of does at least comes through and gives us a shot.
Well, the plan worked. Um, I've only had permission to hunt that property for like two weeks and just did a little bit of scouting, put out a little bit of food, put that stand up, and the plan worked. Got deer out there in range. Uh, would have been a pretty easy shot with the bow, except there is that one big limb that was stretched across there I need to get rid of. Um, but just wasn't the right deer, the right place at the right time, which has been about the story of my season. But uh, we still got the lower month and a half to hunt, and so I'll be out there again before too long, uh, especially with the amount of deer that are showing up at that place in daylight. And so that probably won't be the last time that we hunt out there. I um, did get some cell camera pictures of deer moving other places, but it was just does um, in places where I don't want to shoot any does this time of year. And so uh, that'll be the last time I hunt for a few days at least, but I will be back after them before too long. I'll keep up with them. Anything exciting happens, um, I'll bring it to you, but if not, I'll check in with you the next time and get in a deer stand so we go out to have another Arkansas adventure.